Hi guys, now if you've just bought or ordered your EV, you're probably wondering how the hell you access the various UK charge networks because it is a total mess and it takes ages to get your head around. So that's what this video is about. It's a guide to the UK's charging infrastructure. Let's go. Now, I'm going to break this up into the national networks and the regional networks, but the regional networks are so numerous, I'm not going to go through them one by one. What I will do, however, is show you how you can find out what you need to do to access each of those regional networks, if you get me. So, the national networks, there are quite a few. We have, of course, Tesla, which is quite straightforward. I'll come to that in a minute. Uh, we have Genie Point, Charge Your Car, Polar, Ecarney from Northern Ireland, Instavolt, Podpoint, Shell Recharge and Charge Place Scotland. Okay, so let me start at the one you're most likely to run into, Ecotricity's The Electric Highway. This is the ones that you see at the motorway service areas and if you use the motorway network, you're probably going to come across one already. Now to access The Electric Highway, you cannot use an RFID card anymore, you have to use an app. This is basically available on iOS or most Android devices. You can also ring them if it's during the times that they are open, which I believe is eight to late at the moment, and pay over the phone via a debit card. If, however, you don't have a smartphone or there's something wrong with it and they are shut, you cannot put fuel in your electric car. That is how ridiculous the situation is with the electric highway. They are the only charge networks in the motorway service areas and without one of these, you can't fuel your car. Next is Polo slash Charge Master. And this is a bit complicated, so I'm going to bring Charge Your Car and Charge Place Scotland into it as well because they're kind of interlinked. Just bear with me on this one. Now, the Polar Network has two ways of accessing it. You can either access it on Polar Instant app on a smartphone, which is basically their pay as you go, if you like, or using the Polar RFID card. Now, to get this, you have to sign up to a monthly subscription. I believe it's £7.85 per month at the moment. It makes charging either free or cheaper on the rapid chargers. So I'll leave it up to you whether or not it's worth subscribing to because if you do enough charging, it actually pays for itself in the subscription. However, having an RFID card does make accessing these points significantly easier because the Polo Instant app isn't exactly known for its reliability. For £7.85 a month, personally, I always subscribe, even though some months go by and I never use it, because it's always there if you need it, and quite frankly, it's the price of, what, a couple of lunches, a Netflix subscription, it's not a lot in the grand scheme of things. Now, I mentioned Charge Your Car and Charge Place Scotland. This is a bit complicated, so bear with me on this one. If you have a Charge Place Scotland card, you can access the Scottish network. You can also access the Charge Your Car network because it's the same back end, basically. If you have a Charge Your Car RFID card, you can access the Charge Your Car network, of course, and the one in Scotland. They are interoperable. You know what I mean. If you have a Polar Plus subscription RFID card, you can access the Charge Your Car network because Polar bought Charge Your Car. However, if you have one of these, even though it's the same back network, you cannot access the Scottish one. So to summarise, Polar gets you access to Polar and Charge Your Car. Charge Your Car gives you access to Charge Your Car and Scotland. Scotland gives you access to Scotland and Charge Your Car. So even though it's pretty much the same company, one card doesn't get you access to all three networks. <sighs> God, this is going to need a few edit points. Now ultimately it's going to be up to you which one you prefer or makes sense to sign up to. To access the Charge Your Car network, it's £20 per year to get you an RFID card. Now this just gives you access to the Charge Your Car and the Scottish network, but if you're already subscribing to the Polar Plus, there's no point in getting your Charge Your Car net card unless you need to go to Scotland. However, what you can do if you've got Polar Plus and you want to go to Scotland is just get a Charge Play Scotland card and that costs you £20 a year. So basically, it's the same thing. Either get a Charge Your Car card and a Polar card, or a Charge Play Scotland card and a Polar card. God, that is far too complicated. And I, I really don't know if this is going to make sense even after it's edited together. Sorry, out, Polar, for Christ's sake. 
Genie Point is fairly straightforward. You can pay £9 to get an RFID card, so you don't need a phone or a data signal. However, you can just use their web app to access their charge network. It's quite straightforward and it's free to register. So at the very least, register with Genie Point and if you need to access it, you don't have to faff about doing that at the roadside. For £9, I would personally get an RFID card if you think you're going to use some Genie Points on a regular basis because it's always going to work. A phone doesn't always work. It doesn't always have a signal. It's not always fully charged. eCarney is basically Northern Ireland's national network. It's free to join and free to charge, but you do have to sign up and they will send you an RFID card. So if you live in Northern Ireland or you're going there, get that before you go. Instavolt is a small but growing network of rapid chargers around the UK and the reason I love them so much, even though there's not many around, is because they have only one way of accessing them. And you're going to love this, it involves using currency, a debit card, contactless payment basically, so you can use your phone via contactless payment if it does it, or just a debit card and you pay per kilowatt hour. No signing up, no stupid app, nothing, just money. Podpoint is basically a network of rapid and fast chargers. They have an app which is free to sign up to and you just pay to use. They also have an RFID card which you need to access some of their older chargers and it's probably worth getting as well because it's free and it just means you've got that backup just in case. Shell Recharge is basically the oil giant's electric charging network. They're putting a few rapid chargers in some of their petrol stations. To access that, you get a free app called Smooth with a V and that is charged per kilowatt hour. The app is free, so you might as well get that on your phone. Tesla, of course, have their own charge network. It is only for Tesla cars. You don't need anything to access it. You just literally plug the car in. It knows it's a Tesla, it starts charging. If somehow you manage to plug a Tesla charger into your car, it just won't work. So don't even bother trying. Now, there are a lot of regional charge networks out there, so how do you access them? Now, as I said, there are a ton of them, and I'm not gonna go through them one by one, but if you do need to find out how to access the ones in your area, or if you're traveling somewhere and you want to know what is in that area, then go to zap-map.com. Put in the postcode of where you're going, and then you can search for the charge points in the area. If you click on the icon, it will come up with who runs that particular charger. It also tells you how you can access it. So if you've got a charger from a network that I have not listed yet, or you've never heard of it before, that will tell you how to access it. And that is quite frankly the easiest way to do it if you're going on a long journey or if you just want one in the local area and you want to charge your car. So to summarize, this is what I would recommend every electric car driver out there get. The Electric Highway app, of course, is free to sign up to, it's free to download, add your debit card to it, and then you can access the Electric Highway if necessary. To access the Polar Network, get the Polar Instant app, just in case you need the pay-as-you-go function and you're not subscribed. Even if you are subscribed to the Polar Plus RFID card, you might as well get the app anyway because it doesn't cost you anything to download. This is a monthly subscription, of course, but it makes life a lot easier and you can access the Charge Your Car Network which is a £20 annual fee normally. So it kind of is worth it for £7.85 per month for me. Genie Point, just register on their website and you can use their free web app. Or if you want to make life a lot easier, pay £9 for their RFID card and you can access a Genie Point charger. Instavolt just needs a debit card, so that's nice and easy. All you need to do is make sure you have your wallet on you. Ecarney in Northern Ireland is an RFID card that you have to send off for. So if you are going there or you live there, send off for it before you travel. Podpoint have an app and it's easy to use, so you might as well get that because it is free and you can get a free RFID card, so you might as well apply for that at the same time. Shell Recharge, if you're lucky enough to find one, again, is just the Smooth app. So get that, it's not costing you anything. If you live in Scotland, of course, get the Charge Place Scotland RFID card, which is £20 a year, or the Charge Your Car RFID card. They basically both do the same thing, so just get one of them, not both. Right, so that lot should give you access to Polar, Instavolt, Genie Point, Pod Point, the Electric Highway, Shell Recharge, Charge Play Scotland, uh, eCarney. Oh, God almighty, this is a nightmare. I hope this is going to make sense to you because quite frankly, even though I'm sat here with all the information in front of me, I keep on getting it wrong. <laughs> if anything, this highlights the fragmented nightmare nature of the UK's charging network. Now, the government in November 2018 have brought in legislation, which basically means that you have to have 
easy pay-as-you-go access to every charge network in the country. However, the government unfortunately have decreed that something like an app is an acceptable way of accessing the charge network. Why they didn't just say, look, you have to access it using, um, what's that thing people buy things with? Uh, uh, money. Everyone has access to a contactless payment if they have a bank account. So I, I really don't see why that shouldn't be law, but no, no, we have to go down this stupid app route. So I hope that's helped, although quite frankly, thinking about what I've just done over the past however long I've been doing this, it doesn't make that much sense to me. Oh, I'll tell you what, can you imagine if all the petrol stations made people use an app to put fuel in their car? People would kick off and they would never visit that petrol station again. For some reason, electric cars, they can get away with it, the electric charge networks anyway, it's, it's bonkers. I hope that helps you if you are getting or you just got an electric car. Use that map, plug share, something like that to find out what charge points you're going to access and what you need to access them. Ultimately, you need to do some of your own research. The networks I've given you on here cover most of the UK and you should be all right if you get everything that I've just mentioned, but there's always the odd point, of course. So there we go. I hope you like that. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.